All right, uh, Derry Ricochet. Just met the owner, super nice guy. He's had it for two years, telling me the story, the name. Um, they lived in LA, wildfires burnt down their house. They're originally from here. Actually, their family's from Swampscott. Um, and they ricocheted back from LA to here and opened it, hence Ricochet. We grew up here. We lived in California for like 10 years. Our house burned down in the wildfires. Oh, no, That's not too long ago. No, it was 2018, yeah. so we ricocheted back, that's where the name came from. Full story. Also, confusion on the One Bite app because it used to be a place called Romano's, which by all accounts is horrible. So it's still listed, and the good reviews are combined with the bad reviews. We saw another lady, also from Swamp Scott. She's this is crazy. There's Swamp Scott left, Swamp Scott right. She's like, you should check out Ricochet. It's really good. Without her, we don't find this place, and uh, this actually. Reminds me of the pizza we just ate on the outside looking, which was Mickey's. But this is a thin style, looks good. Really cool guy. Cool vibes, cool cool vibes, cool guy. Cool guy with cool vibes, cool vibes with cool store. Um, one bite, everybody knows the rules. They're opening another shop right now, he said, in Hampton, I believe. Um, is that like Hampton Beach? I'm not sure. Must be. Uh, so here's what we got. I don't want to burn myself. I'm gonna burn myself. You guys can go in. Are we like stopping you? You can go right in. No, no. You, we don't, don't let us stop you. Awesome. I feel like I could be wrong. The stuff my dad likes on the people, the pets pepper, like that you sometimes put on it. I feel like they put on it. Maybe it's just the seasoning, but I like it. Did you think I was gonna say I didn't like it? I like it. Anytime you do a pizza tour, like what I'm doing today in a bunch of places, the scores all start re like reflecting each other. Like you remember, well, I just gave the last place 7.5, or last place 7.6, or a 7.3, and I like this one more or less. And the whole day gets ranked. And it doesn't necessarily stand up for its rankings from other days because I'm ranking on that day. Does that make sense? I'm asking, does that make sense? All right. The last three or four places, including Puppuccino's, believe it or not, are all 7.5 to 7.7. Seven, seven. I think I gave Mickey a 7.6. This and Mickey's are similar. This has a little kick to it. I'm going to go 7.7 seven on this one. 7.7 seven, seven on Ricochet. But they're all good. And if you want to argue for any of them, the tavern place, what was the tavern's name? Uh, Kelsey's. You want to have for Kelsey's, Ricochet, Mickey's, or even Papa Gino's. I won't fight you. They're all really good pizza. Ricochet, 7-7, seven, seven, that's a review. Cool guy, cool vibes, LA Wildfire, Ricochet, back here, Swamp Scott. They made the dugouts for my little league. That's a review. What do you think? I like that. What's a little, a little spice on it? What, brother? What is that? What'd you put on? What's the spice on Oh, the, at the end, it's just like a little herb blend. We learned is, that if I usually put, hate that, but I like that. Normally, when you put it in the sauce, it'll kind of add like a tanginess to yeah. it. But if you put it on afterwards, it's like the perfect balance. So usually, I don't like stuff like that, but I did on this pizza. Hell yeah, yeah, yeah. It was good, really so good. What'd you think? I liked it, really good. You asked some score. Yeah, seven seven. But that's really literally right in the middle. I was like seven six. You <laughs> said seven eight. That, that's. I we'll love it. it. <laughs> All right, so we'll then I'm, I'm on point then. We'll take All it. Yeah. All right, cool. Congrats. Thanks, man. Nice to meet you guys. Yeah, nice to meet you guys. Take care. I'll see you guys. Thanks, yeah. man.